Welcome back, YouTube. Today, we're going to talk about the best growth stocks to buy in 2021 to at least double your money. Now, I see tons of growth in all of these companies, and it's really hard to narrow it down to three, but that's what we're going to do in this video. So, if you guys do like these kind of videos and you vibe with me, go ahead, hit the like button, and subscribe at the end of the video if you get anything useful out of it. Also, guys, I respond to every comment in the comment section. So, if you guys have any questions, want to go over anything, if you have anything for me, any stocks you're looking at, as far as growth stocks then comment down below let me know source the information but let's not waste any more of your guys's time let's jump right into these stock picks now guys the first stock that is an easy safe double is disney now the reason i really love disney and it is my favorite company of all time because they have stayed relevant and even more so now recently are transitioning more to a growth stock with Disney Plus. This company has stayed relevant for over a hundred years. Since they were founded, they have been relevant and they are no the number one brand when it comes to kids and households. Everybody knows Disney. So this, in my opinion, is an easy easy double in 2021 disney plus is far outperforming any of analysts and their highest expectations they projected that from themselves the ceo he said they expect to have 64 million subscribers by 2024 guys a year later of disney plus they have 94 million thousand million subscribers and they have not even launched nearly around the world yet i think they're only in america and europe so there's tremendous growth opportunity and in my opinion to even surpass netflix so that's a big statement so that's why i'm putting my money where my mouth is i bought disney at 122 dollars a share i bought five shares for 610 dollars i am up 53% and I think this is only the beginning so I am holding on to my shares and I am actually going to buy more Disney under $200 a share is a very very strong buy for a quick and almost risk-free 100% gain or more on your money now they are not cruising until after May so after May once they start cruising and investors realize how much built-up demand is for cruises and vacations Disney is going to skyrocket rocket guys and i mean it's going literally to the moon guys my price target for disney by the end of 2021 is 300 dollars a share on the low end on the high end 410 dollars a share i think it will easily keep growing at 20 percent a year because of disney plus now this is one you guys do not want to sleep on but we have more stocks to talk about so let's get into it the next stock i'm looking at to easily go up over a hundred percent in 2021 is neo and i have a fairly large position in neo so i might be a little biased here i am up 25 percent i bought shares at 48 dollars 20 cents overall have 100 shares at 21.71 percent of my account now there's a couple cool things to note about neo they are only delivered 43,000 cars in 2020. They expect to go to 130,000 cars this year in 2021. Neo is also rumored to be going into the Europe market as early as this year and potentially into America's markets at a future date. Now that would be huge because the EV market is only 3% of all vehicles sold and presents a huge growth opportunity. Matter of fact, China is the world's largest consumer of EV vehicles and that is where NIO is based. China has also banned the selling of gasoline vehicles after 2035. So this stands to benefit NIO in the short term because people are going to want to get out of gasoline vehicles as soon as possible because that's the direction they're going already and once it actually happens they will have people will have no choice but to buy neo vehicles and other chinese ev vehicle makers but i think neo stands to benefit the most now they just came out with their e7 and it is badass so i think it will appeal to a large amount of customers 
Neo was on hard times in the beginning of 2020 and the government came to the rescue with a $1.4 billion investment and they purchased 24.1% of Neo. Now, I think this is so good because the Chinese government has said themselves that they want to be the EV tech center of the world just like silicon valley was the was the internet tech the social media tech all that china wants to be a top competitor in ev vehicles so it only makes sense that neo would stand to be one of the biggest electric vehicle producers in the world now the chinese government also owns 40 percent of their main facility they produce a lot of their cars at so they have a huge incentive to see neo doing good and i think once american and outside investors become more confident investing in china we are going to see chinese companies explode that truly have a lot of growth potential ahead of them my price target for neo by the end of 2021 on the low end is 120 dollars per share now on the high end i could see this thing hitting 300 dollars a share just off of hype alone if they execute everything they say in 2021 this third stock was the hardest by far because a lot of stocks have the potential to double in 20 by the end of 2021 but i think churchill capital or cciv is the best third choice for this list and these are not in order churchill capital will probably do better than disney but churchill capital has the most risk so i put it at the end so this is a special treat if you made it this far now churchill capital a couple things to note with them is there is a lot of hype and speculation around this merger that has not been confirmed there's no letter of intent or any confirmation to say that that they are going to merge with cciv but in this case i think it's more of a risk to reward ratio just makes sense at this current price you stand to lose 75 percent of your investment if you bought shares today at almost 40 dollars a share now that would be 75%, but I think if the merger does get announced that it is going to happen, I think Churchill Capital could easily go to $100 per share, and I actually think there's a good chance that it does get announced fairly soon. They have been in talks since January 12th, so any day now we could hear an announcement, and just the risk to reward ratio makes a lot of sense. If, if you stand to lose 75% of your investment, but you stand to make 150 or 200% of your investment, and uh, uh, upon confirmation of this merger i think it makes sense to buy cciv even at the current share price but don't go too crazy on it lucid motors the company cciv is trying to take public and merge with they are building everything in house so they have six studios right now to sell these lucid vehicles that come out in the spring now a couple things to note with that is they are projected to be able to manufacture 30,000 vehicles at their current production rate. But the CEO himself said not too long ago on CNBC that he expects to deliver six to 7,000 vehicles by the end of 2021. So this could hurt the stock if the merger does go through later in the year because they just will not be able to deliver as many vehicles as investors are going to hope for. Nevertheless, though, with them doing everything themselves and building everything in-house, even the studios where they're going to sell the cars are lucid lucid owned so that is a positive for the long term but can most certainly dampen their expansion efforts going forward but as you guys can see this vehicle is a very luxury type style vehicle and that's the section that they are planning to go into first but they said over time they will scale down their prices to make them more affordable now this current car is going to, to cost 169,000 when it comes out in the spring but they have a couple other models and the one that investors think will be most popular is the $69,900 version of the Lucid Dream Air Edition. And that one, the $69,000 one, is expected to start sales by mid-2022. Lucid Motors expects by 2025 their factory will be able to produce 400,000 vehicles a year and that is similar to what Tesla is producing right now and as you guys can see they put this factory together very fast from December 2019 to November in 2020 they fully built this factory and started production now 
if that's a glimpse into the future i cannot wait to see what lucid motors does from this point going on but my price target for lucid motors assume well ccib assuming that the merger does happen is a hundred dollars on the low end and a hundred and fifty dollars on the high end i'm gonna wrap up the video right there if you guys got anything useful out of the video go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe for me i greatly appreciate it also comment down below what your top growth stocks are for 2021 i would love to hear from you guys respond to every comment but until next time stay cool peace out